People often complain that you can't trust the media anymore. Chris Cuomo isn't helping. It turns out the host of CNN's Cuomo Primetime was more involved with the damage control campaign for his brother, former New York governor. Andrew Cuomo, than previously acknowledged. Andrew Cuomo resigned from office in August after allegations of sexual misconduct were levied against him. It's a mess, but it's not a new mess for the Cuomos. Just a bigger one. Chris Cuomo had acknowledged helping his brother before, but the latest revelations are more damning, enough so that CNN finally, after allowing Cuomo to remain on the air, took action. These documents point to a greater level of involvement in his brother's efforts than we previously knew, the network said in a statement. As a result, we have suspended Chris indefinitely, pending further evaluation. Jobs like Cuomo's come with built-in authority. People watch and, more importantly, people listen. Trust and honesty used to be default descriptions. What a joke that's become. Can you still trust Cuomo? Could you ever trust Tucker Carlson or Sean Hannity? About as far as you could throw them, as the saying goes. They don't want your trust. They want your eyeballs. Don't be mistaken, no one in the history of news coverage went into it trying to lose money, and ratings have always been a necessity for TV longevity. But outrage is the engine that drives the cable news machine now. We should define terms here. When people think of trustworthy news anchors, they think of Walter Cronkite. Yet after a reporting trip to Vietnam in 1968, he also famously said this, we have been too often disappointed by the optimism of the American leaders, both in Vietnam and Washington, to have faith any longer in the silver linings they find in the darkest clouds. For it seems now more certain than ever that the bloody experience of Vietnam is to end in stalemate. Of course, his words meant more because of the trust Americans placed in Cronkite, 